Throughout my time as Speaker, I have sought to increase the relative authority of this legislature, for which I will make absolutely no apology to anyone, anywhere, at any time. To deploy a perhaps dangerous phrase, I have also sought to be the backbencher's backstop. I could not do so without the support of a small but superb team in Speaker's House, the wider House staff, my Buckingham constituents, and above all, my wife Sally and our three children, Oliver, Freddie and Jemima. From the bottom of my heart, I thank them all profusely. I could also not have served without the repeated support of this House and its members, past and present. This is a wonderful place, filled overwhelmingly by people who are motivated by their notion of the national interest, by their perception of the public good, and by their duty, not as delegates, but as representatives, to do what they believe is right for our country. We degrade this Parliament at our peril. I have served as a Member of Parliament for 22 years and for the last 10 as Speaker. This has been let me put it explicitly. The greatest privilege and honour of my professional life for which I will be eternally grateful. I wish my successor in the chair the very best fortune in standing up for the rights of honourable and right honourable members individually and for Parliament institutionally as the Speaker of the House of Commons. Thank you. Yeah.